Hi, some people has asked me, can I use these encryptation algorithms to run over files? Can I encrypt a PDF file using the AES algorithm? And the answer is yes, you can. And not just PDF files, but also Excel files, video files, image files, no matter. And no matter why. No matter because the algorithm works with bytes, byte array. So no matter the source of the information, you are able to encrypt and to decrypt that and share that with security with the desired person. So I'm going to show that to you now using, as an example, this file here. So just remembering how the algorithm works, we have uh, in the past already made a video in this channel that we have encrypted this string. And this string actually was transformed to one byte array by this encode method. This encode method transformed the original string in a byte array. We are going to print the data type here. I think it's already here. Let me run to the very begin here. So as you can see, this string was converted to a byte array. And the file contents, no matter the extension, like this PDF file here, also is going to be read like byte, a byte array. And then we are able to give this byte array as the input of the algorithm. So the input is a byte array. So the, the rest of the algorithm will process in the same way, independently, the source of the information. So here we have read this PDF file that I have showed to you, and it's saved in the same directory as my code. You can see it here. And then it's going to print the file content here. Like you can see, it's clear a PDF file, and it prints the whole content of the file. You can see it here. If you look for the end of the file mark that it's here, you can see the file was entirely printed and its data type is here like bytes, like the original string. So now we have the PDF file read to be processed by the algorithm. So we define the key. In this case, I turned two bytes key. We, we, we could use another size that AS supports. Then we create the AS algorithm. And then we ask for the encrypt the data based in the key and the data we have read from the file. And then here in this content, we have the encrypted content. So we could just transfer that to some kind of string output, or we could write that in the file. So I'm writing the encrypted content in the file just for you can see, because like in the same way I have written the file, I could have written that in a database. I could transfer that to a REST service, no matter, okay? I have printed here the encrypted content. It's quite long, but you can clearly see it's, it's, it's not more a PDF content. It's the role encoded content here. It, also does not know it's a file, the end of file is not more printed. So it's very, very long uh, um, to scroll here because the encrypted file becomes quite, quite large. Um, I have created a file with this name, encrypted PDF file. It should be here in my directory strip. It's here. So here is the whole content, okay, of the encrypted file. It's not able to, to, to be read. Okay, and then now we have encrypted the file, we need to do the way back. The way back is then how? Basically, it's this part here. We need the original key. So any person that receives this file that's not unreadable and also has the original key will be able to transform the, the file to its original content. And then we process this decrypt method and have here the original content. And then we just verify here in the very end if this, this content is exactly the same content as the beginning, because when we encrypt the, the content, we generated the, the hash, the measures, measures digits. And then if we have the same rash at the end, we know the, the decrypted file is exactly the same as the original file. And then we could take a look here by this code, looking here at the console and here, you can see it was exactly the same file and the decrypted content is really exactly the same PDF file we have before. So is that for this video. I hope you can encrypt and decrypt your files. In case you have some, 
some suggestions, some ideas, some questions about this tema, please write down at the comments. Thanks for watching.